Hey everybody, Jay Krista, Say I Do Forever coming at you, and yes, we are back. Yeah. We have had quite the eventful two weeks, three weeks, a month. Month. A year. How let's just go. <laughs> um, let's just go over, let's just narrow it down to the last one. You know month. what? Let's recap. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, let's recap. Let's start with COVID. That's where we left you guys. That was fun. <laughs> so I got over and done with that and then past that so mm -hmm. then my mom uh decided to move here well, to be house. Yeah. closer to us which was a good thing <clears throat> so we can you know help her out and uh with life in general and uh she sold her house to the first buyer it was uh um, answer to prayer yeah and then she found a house close to us and she got that house and so the, the houses are all done but there's just, between that and, and where we're at now, there was just a lot. So do you want to kind of go over that with Well, let's with start with what this video was supposed to be. Yeah. Tell them about everything. I've spent the last two weeks collecting videos of everything from me here at the house by myself with a snowstorm and the cats and the dogs and then, <laughs> you know, trying to catch up with that and communicating with Jay while he was away and we had been pretty much apart for a month um, because our Valentine's video, uh, our hundredth video was the last time we really spent any time together. The next couple days right after that, that was a Monday, you were real busy getting your business up and going. Mm -hmm. And then you got COVID. And yeah, that was fun. So then we were apart uh, <laughs> for 10 days for quarantine and for him getting better. And then in the midst of that, his mom sold his ha her house and bought, bought other another house. house that we couldn't even go see. But anyways, I have been collecting videos of my plane ride, of finally seeing Jay and connecting with him for after a month. Oh, it was a great video. It was video. a great video. <laughs> it was little excerpts of all the videos leading up to her coming and visiting me and helping us pack up mom's house. And, and moving and explain to them what happened so the inevitable happened i was i should not edit while tired and i lost all of the videos <laughs> for the last two weeks and i spent the entire night all through the night into the night with different apps different youtube videos how to restore it and of course i'm able to find every video i've ever deleted since who knows when some crazy videos on on the phone but I that whole group of videos is gone like why did it save all the stupid videos and not that it's crazy so I'm sitting here a little down and a little depressed and a little discouraged but it was a good trip like there's some really good like we're a little discouraged today we were supposed to move his mom in when we you know brought her up but then, you know, there was a little delay in the escrow, and then there's a painter that's supposed to paint. So we put every, we unloaded everything in the garage. And I had some great video of these wonderful friends of ours and their crew, their family that came and unloaded us late, late at night. Uh, Chris and Chastity, thank you so much. Yep. And I even had a little thank you tribute to them. It was a beautiful video. I really wish you guys saw it. Would have been, would have been really good to have on the <laughs> channel, but you know what? Such is life. Yeah, it is I actually, what it is. I actually could cry right now. <clears throat> it's okay. Because I spent all night long trying to find it. I yeah. could cry right now. But it's okay. But I also woke up this morning, even though I still couldn't find it, and I was thinking, it's like you said, it's not the end of the world. Mm -mm. It's small potatoes. Yep. God has well. The verse of the day today, let me just tell you some encouragement. So I get the little Bible app on my phone. Let me show you what it is. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, it says Holy Bible. It's that little, little tiny app there that's brown. And they do like a, a verse of the day. Let's just <clears throat> listen to what he says. And I know it's short, but... Oh, it's not going to. But, because I've already listened to it. But, it has the scripture of the day. 
is Isaiah 55, 8 through 9. My thoughts are not nothing like your thoughts. They're doing it in the Living Translation, says the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And that kind of turned me around. I still am having some crying moments here. <laughs> but why would God allow me to erase the video? I got, I think what's <clears throat> killing me is not so much the video for the channel. What's killing me is that I got footage of Jay's mom's and Michael's whole property and I walked the ground so that they would have a memory. And I think that's what's killing me right now, that that's gone. <laughs> so the best part is um, we can probably bring up that property on Zillow and yeah. we can show you that property through Zillow. We can show you the house, we can show you the property, where she left and where she's gone to um, up here. So it's not a total loss and it is what it is. There's nothing yeah. we can do about it. We move forward. I got, but and I that's got just great, how it is. I got some great footage of her saying goodbye to her neighbors. It's okay. But then I thought, but you know, God's ways are better. It's okay. God's ways are better. And <laughs> what if she has, she has heart issues? What if seeing that video would break her heart some more? Yeah, it probably would have been hard on her. So yeah. maybe that's why you weren't able to put that on our channel. Yeah. Maybe there's a reason behind it. Well, you know? and let's talk about, you know, um, right now. First, we were supposed to move her in on Thursday night when we arrived and be working on all that this weekend. And today is Sunday, um, the 20th, I think. And then when the painter was going to be done, okay, you can move in on Sunday. <clears throat> now he's not going to be done till Monday, possibly. That was because problems with escrow. But yeah. that's all done, and that put him a date farther behind. So here we're sitting here on Sunday and they are in a motel <laughs> with three dogs and we're doing our best to take the dogs potty and all that kind of stuff and Jay's mom is just doing really good with that whole situation and you know Michael's doing really good. Yep. But I got to thinking maybe God wants her to have a few days of complete rest. They got to take a nap today Probably. where we would have been doing because moving and packing up the car i think was pretty hard or packing oh, yeah. up the whole house was, oh yeah oh, it was yeah. a huge emotional physical undertaking there was a lot to it. it it wore everyone down yeah and she had to give away and give up a lot um yeah. she had to say goodbye to a lot so yeah. it was really hard i'm sure on her heart so maybe, but she's doing really good so, up here now. You so. know, God's ways are higher than our ways. He yeah. knows what's best. And maybe he knows what's best is that we just sit still for a couple days and let and her rest. and Pop rest. Because yeah. we had so many changes. It was such a good, like, once we got on the road, we, even though it was exhausting, we, we drove for two days straight. Well, we drove seven hours. Uh, from their eight, house actually on each day okay eight we drove from their house in yucca to um cedar city and then we got up in the morning and we left there late and we got to twin falls at 7 p.m yeah and then we had to unload a thing and a truck and then get them into a yep. hotel i think that night we got them dinner <clears throat> at 11 p.m I mean, here we are. We got people who yep. have some health issues, and we got them dinner at 11. <clears throat> yep. You guys, you and Josh were just exhausted from loading, unloading, driving. It was a lot of work. It was Josh and I basically yeah. loading the entire truck. And at the beginning, when we got here, unloading, we got about, I want to say, a quarter to half yeah. of the truck unloaded, just Josh and I. And then... Uh, when Chastity and Chris and their kids showed up, oh, thank God for that, that went like fast. It was like boom, 20 minutes, and then the rest of the truck was unloaded. And then Friday, I took the truck back to U Haul. So it was, mm -hmm. I mean, it was finally everything in. You I don't know, think stored there was and put away a and, day in the last <clears throat> week. I know you were going at it longer than I was. I arrived on Sunday, 
by plane mm -hmm. and um, had some really cute footage of that. <laughs> it was funny. Of she videoed the whole time when she was, she was walking <laughs> with the phone right here as she's walking through the airport when she left Twin Falls and landed in Salt Lake and she has her phone and she's walking. Well, and I edited it so good, and then I actually airport to airport. Yep, and then seeing you for the first time, and mm -hmm. actually getting to hug and kiss him after. <clears throat> I mean, come on, COVID, quarantine, yep. and being gone. Yep, it's been the longest month of my life. Uh, yeah, we didn't really get to spend time together for a month. I mean, that's uh -huh. that was really pushing it. Ah, <sighs> right. Yeah, that was really pushing it. It was pushing it. Yeah. So now we get a cuddle and hang out and mm -hmm. be best friends. And I guess and the good part is, is we should be moving some stuff right now and we're just sitting here. <laughs> yeah. And we're doing this video because we needed to do a video because it's mm -hmm. been so long. And uh, my mom and pop are getting rest and yeah. we can uh, get going on it tomorrow. Maybe I could at least a lot to do get you the part two, <laughs> moving the stuff into the house there and you stuff. Go. There you go. But man, am I sad. It's okay. You always got part two. <laughs> this is part one, and it is what it is, and you'll be able to do part two. The best is yet to come. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> the The biggest part was getting them here, mm -hmm. and now they're here. And so a couple days in a hotel. Yeah. No harm, no foul, no big deal. Yeah. You know, they're going to be okay. They're resting and just enjoying some peace and quiet, even though they have three dogs. But that's okay. Wow. And, uh, oh, but the dogs were so good. I had the car. Traveling. Traveling. <clears throat> I had the car with, uh, I had myself, Jay's mom, and, and, the dogs. and the three dogs, and then tried to stuff as much as we could, but we had the dog beds all in the back, and they were so sweet. Hercules, who's usually jumping all over and barking and everything, he just kind of put his head in between the seats to the both of us and every once in a while I'd be driving and I'd either feel his head on my shoulder like looking out the window with his head or I would feel his paw like reach out and touch me <laughs> like hey I'm here yeah I just love you yeah thank you for taking me on this trip he's, he's a good dog yeah and then Aries he just hung out in the back and um, just kind of was he's a sweet dog too. yeah he's very chill and little little uh, sissy. She's a chihuahua. Um, she was stressed at first and <clears throat> kind of like shaking and. Well, it was a new experience. Yeah. Chihuahuas are high strung or just hyper. I mean, well, uh, ner nervous. She says she's usually good in the in the car, but um, this was a car car trip that just went on forever. It was like the car trip that never ended. <laughs> like this is the song that never ends oh my gosh this and i did good i drove for the very first time long distance what i was really impressed with and i told chris of this after <laughs> we got to cedar city is going from my mom's house in uh, yucca to uh, cedar city so i'm driving this 26 foot long u-haul it's the biggest u-haul they have which was like a boat and i'm going between and Krista hates driving next to barricades. Those if you've barriers, ever those been next to barriers. Those she cement hates it. Things. So we went through a construction zone. They had barriers on both sides of the vehicle. So I'm trying to navigate this ginormous U-Haul truck, and I look and it's in my mirror, winding ear, too. and I see her. And <coughs> she was, she was my hero. She was just like little, little blonde, and <laughs> going through the double barricades. And I, I thought to myself. Oh boy, am I going to hear it when we stop? And she didn't say much. She just told my mom how much she hates barricades, and that was it. And she just kept her foot to the gas and kept going. So you know, bravo to her. Well, she the was first, a trooper. First bit, it was the barricades on one side, and I was like, "Oh, I really hate barricades." Ooh, 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 ooh. And then we, I was like, "Whoo, we got through those." And then it came to the double barricades, and I'm like, two barricades." As soon as I got to the double barricades, I knew I was going to get an earful when we stopped. But <clears throat> fortunately, she was gracious and she didn't get on my case about the double no, barricades. I mean, the other thing is, in my own defense, I didn't know 
that well, there was double barricade. you can't tell. They're always changing. Because it was new construction. construction. I had no idea. Yeah. We went the Salt Lake Way instead of through the middle of Nevada. Yeah. Number one, because you can stop at any exit and you can get off and get fuel or a hotel or food or whatever. So that was the better way to go mm -hmm. through Utah. Yeah. So anyway. Well, and I actually, okay, so the first three hours I thought my... I have a back injury and so my nerve is kind of shot in my right leg and I've never driven that long so I've never had my foot on the gas that long and part of it I was like trying to wiggle it a little bit because my whole leg went numb and yeah. then we were supposed to get out that Wednesday at 8 a.m. We, we got out at 2. 3. I thought it was Believe two. me she I locked it into three. my head. 3 p.m. <laughs> <clears throat> and then it was a seven hour drive after that. Um, so then the last half was at dark and I had worn my contacts that day and it was windy. So I had gotten something in my eye. So as I'm going, trying to drive, my eye is goobering. <laughs> let's let's just throw one more thing in there. Yeah. But the second day I was like a professional. The first day I'm like, why is he driving so fast? I can't keep up with him. We're going around turns and up hills and all Which that kind of stuff. Which is surprising because the U-Haul doesn't go that fast anyway. And you still were way ahead. But the second day I was like, I'm going to, why is he going so slow? And then I was she like. He was right I was on like my butt and I'm like, what's going on with this tailgater behind me? It was funny. I was like, wow, I've never seen her drive that fast ever. Well, and then Jay, your mom, she was like my little encourager like the whole trip. So she's like, you're doing great, honey. You're doing great. And the dogs were great. And we chatted, and that helped the time go. I had a great time talking with your mom. We talked about everything under the sun, and it kind of kept me at ease. Yeah. And then um, she said on the second day, she goes, oh, my goodness, honey, you're just changing lanes without him. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, uh, what did she say? <clears throat> she goes, it's like I'm witnessing a whole new person. It's like... In, in two days, I saw you go from this little shy driver who was afraid to this, get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> got places to go, people to see. What's the holdup? Yeah, so oh, the second day I kind of came alive. Um, that's good. And then behind us was um, Joshua. Joshua and Jay's stepdad. Um, and he has dementia, and so we weren't quite sure how that was going to go with all the changes we were doing and all the hotels and all the moving. Yeah. But uh, Michael got right into the back of his car, and he wanted to drive with Josh in the in the Nissan Z. So they were in the sports car, and every time we got out and I checked on him, they said, uh, Josh would say, oh, this is the most peaceful car. Neither of us like to talk. And we like to just watch the road. <laughs> you were just cruising. It was awesome. it was yeah, awesome. and they did really good together. Yeah. And Michael was so happy, and he he was like on an adventure. I think one of the, one of the funniest things I liked that Pop did was so we were on the bottom floor in the one hotel in Cedar City, and they were on the second floor. And he thought that we were done and we were going to get in the vehicles. And so he leaves their room. Mind, with all the mind, luggage. Mind you, yeah. And so he he shuffles downstairs, down the elevator. Not downstairs, but actually down the elevator. And goes from their room to our room. And he comes in. And he comes in. And what does he say? He says, we're right back where we started. Because <laughs> he thought we were, that they just entered the same hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he felt like it was a twilight zone, you know, you go from one room right back into the room. It's like, wait a minute, didn't we just leave the room? So that was pretty funny. Yeah, he was actually hilarious the entire trip <clears throat> yeah. and uh, just kind of enjoyed, helped walk the dogs and, and yep. <laughs> just, it was great. He got to go out and have his smokes yep. and yep. And then he decided he was going to climb into the big truck with you, the last yep. leg of the... The last leg, yep. Mm -hmm. He decided that he wanted to ride in the U-Haul. Because anybody who knows him knows that he used to drive he was for a truck, a truck driver. Uh, he was a truck a driver. A trucking company. So, you know, he felt probably better inside the cab of a, a, a bigger big. bigger truck. Now, it wasn't a big rig, but it was still a bigger truck than... Yeah. The Z. So anyway, he uh, he had fun riding in that, and and uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. It was a good trip. It was a good trip. It was trip. a long trip, but it was still a good trip. Yeah, I think most of my fears of the future, like last week when I was thinking, how is this all going to play out? How are we going to get this crew from California to Idaho? How are we going to get someone who has, your mom has um, heart issues. She's right. only running on about, I think it's more now, but about 24% of her heart. And I so think I, it's more now. I think it's more now. But um, I thought with all of the decisions she was having to make and have to get rid of things and say goodbye to things and say goodbye to people, and yep. then the just the length of it and then trying to walk the dogs, make sure the dogs, then, you know, worrying about Michael. <clears throat> I th You know, I was real worried about her heart. And then, and she did great. Oh my gosh, she worked harder than a lot of us. Yeah, and now that she's in this hotel for for now, I've been trying to run over there in the mornings and help her take the dogs potty and stuff. So yeah, and, and give getting her a little rest, bit of a I break. think, is good. I think God knew what <clears throat> yep. He was doing. Yeah, and I was worried about Michael because we were changing places all the time, and it did pretty good until we got here. Mm -hmm. um, um, just say a little prayer for us so that it just continues to go good. Because as soon as the painter's done, we'll be moving the rest of their stuff in. But and, we're at the easy side. And I think side. he's, I think he's ready to get settled in their house here. Um, yeah. You know, he had made a comment earlier today when I was over there, uh -huh. and I think he is. He's ready to go out in in their backyard and uh -huh. and just be able to sit and relax on the back patio and. You know what we should do? Just relax and um, enjoy. Is go. And pick them up a patio set. If we can find one like their old set, that would even be better. Maybe we should go shopping right now. We'll see you guys. <laughs> you know, because I think that that would be nice if he immediately went and had a place to sit. Well, he had the chairs in his uh, patio there, so we may as well do it. Yeah. So, there's still a lot of work ahead. Yep. Maybe I'll try to grab some video. I'm super sad that the other video is gone, but there's... But it's okay. You can't it is what cry it is. over spilt milk. Nope. And it's you over. can do part two when we go to move everything But I everything really in. want part one. <laughs> I work so hard on it. <laughs> She's pounding her fists and kicking mm. her feet. And it's okay. The best part yeah. is, before she lost the whole entire video that you guys were supposed to see... She let me see it, and she did an amazing job at editing and putting, snapping all the different reels together, the B-roll footage and all that stuff. She did an absolutely amazing job, so yeah. take my word for it. It was wonderful. She's a rock star when it comes to her iPhone video, snap together, put it all together. It looked amazing, so I know it was good. Take our word for it. It was good, and this is all you get for now, but she'll do... <laughs> She'll do part two, and she'll have all the different clips of part yeah. two. And you know what? Sometimes part two is better than part one. The best is yet to come. Exactly. So why lose sleep over it when there's Not nothing mention, you can do about it? Like I've been trying to tell myself that all, all day. At one point, you just can't stress over the things you can't change. Absolutely. My gosh, you got it. You can't. But... <laughs> It's because I'm tired too. It's okay. I, you just, what I should have done is just stopped when I was tired. Here's a lesson for everyone. When you have gone to bed at midnight or 2 a.m. every night and gotten up at between 3 and 6 every day for a week, it's not a good time to play with electronics. Nope. And now you know. <laughs> Now you know when you go to do the next video, part two, you need to do it in the morning. Yeah. When you're rested and alert. I was trying to beat the clock. That's okay. Sometimes you shouldn't beat the clock. Sometimes <laughs> you should go to bed and get up in the morning and do the video. I really part wanted two, you guys to part, see it. Part two will be when she's rested and in the mornings. On the video, I got to see Jay for the first time and give him a kiss in a whole month. That was adorable. That's okay. You want to kiss me now? Yes, you can see the second kiss in a month. Come on, give me some smooches. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
so that made up for the one that you lost on the video well reel. and we had this great it's okay. thing where we got in the car and we were i was so exhausted on the plane and we were like i missed you more i'm you <laughs> oh in the car yeah <laughs> that was, that was great... funny because uh, we went back and, and it forth. wasn't planned or anything mm -hmm. it was no, great it it's was okay great. It's okay. We're not crying over spilt milk. Nope. You can't change the past, stress, but you can change the future. We're not stressing about what we cannot change. Nope. And you and can... And I'm going to read my verse again. And you can fix it. And God knows better. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. So it's going to be amazing. For just as go. the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. There you go. So, And the ready. little video on that and was saying, part two. what are you trying to control? You need a exactly. let go. I'm exactly. always trying to control things. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you guys so much, and I, and I feel bad that we pretty much abandoned the channel for a month because of COVID. And I, I can't imagine that you guys would hold it against us that we weren't able to do videos because of how busy we've been with my parents and everything else going on in our lives. I mean, it is what it is. You know, we we will do the videos when we, when we can. Mm -hmm. So as of now, this will be the one you see today. And then we'll do a part two, which you'll do all a bunch of little excerpt, excerpts and clips. And you'll put them all together in the morning when you're like wide awake and ready to go. And then you can give them part two yeah. video. It will be all the happy stuff. Yeah, not you can the, walk around their Not yard all the goodbye and stuff. The kitchen and the living room and all that's the dogs. It'll be the new and exciting stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's all good. I feel better now. Thank you guys for letting me vent. Yeah. Thank you for letting me vent. Sure. I think it's good. And you haven't had a haircut I think, in like a month. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have my hat on. <laughs> well, even though I usually always have a hat on. It is Dodgers baseball season, though. Why are so, you not wearing a Dodger shirt? I don't know. I don't know. I forgot to. <laughs> oh, well. Well. We did get Freddie Freeman, though, from the Atlanta Braves, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. Yep. You know what else we haven't done? We never did our last chapter of our book. We failed. No. We failed. We failed. No, we, we didn't. Failed. No, we didn't. It is what it is, and we'll be coming at you guys with the last chapter. So, there you go. Something to look forward to. Last chapter and part two. I but you don't have any Here. Okay. And we're hunkering today in the house because it's super windy. We got 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts. So, there's another bonus to us not moving things today. Yep. We'd be really frustrated in yeah, the wind. because stuff would be blowing all over the place. Yeah. There's a reason why everything happens. There's a reason why you couldn't put part one on there. There's a reason why we're enjoying our day inside. Yeah. There's a reason why they get to relax and rest in the hotel. Their mm -hmm. house is being painted completely on the inside, and it's going to be really nice when he's done. I saw him, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that everything was good before he you know, paints it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really nice when it's all done. I'm excited. Yeah, it's good. And now I'm going to take a nap since I can. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm probably going to go over my list of things that I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> the list. There's a lot to still do, you, you can... know, to set up DirecTV for my mom and to set up the internet and all that stuff. There's a whole list of things that has to be done, so... We need curtains on the on the, the windows. Well, and you can't take a nap because we got to go get our patio furniture. We got to go get patio furniture. Patty furniture. Patty furniture. <laughs> patio furniture. You know. Yeah, let's go pick out some nice patio furniture. It is the month of St. Patty's Day, so there you go. <laughs> Just get her some green patio uh, furniture. Okay. Maybe not. Well, maybe we should sign off and let these nice people go back to their life. <laughs> this is Jay, and Krista, helping you say do forever. <laughs> Thanks for. Guys sitting with us as we hashed pour out our hearts as far as what <laughs> happened and listen to Krista whine about her part one video. Till next time. So good. See you guys. Bye. Love you.